Namaste. First of all, I'm Angus here. This video is on zone two training. I do have a e-course on this, but this one is specifically on DFA Alpha One using the heart rate, sorry, not the heart rate, the HRV logger app. I will flick up pictures up here. I don't know how much this app is, but I think it's a one-off payment. I think it's less than 10 pounds. And what you do is set the settings to this. And once you have the settings set to that, what you do is, or should I say the protocol I did this morning, I was on the Concept2 bike, I did a 5K as a warm up. I kind of know where my watts are, so it's a little bit easier for me to go in. So I started off at, say, 100 watts, moved up to 130, moved up to 140, kind of held around about 140, 150 ish watts while using this logger app, uh, just to make sure I wasn't going over this 0 0.75, which is where your kind of zone two ends. So once you know where your zone two ends, you kind of know anything under that is zone two or zone one, so kind of near that is fine. And then you can work out whereabouts in zone two you're gonna hang out. Um, so did my 5K as a warm up, kind of progressively sp speeding up and allowing my heart rate to kind of settle into the groove. I stopped, I reset up for another 5K. For some reason, my Erg Day app didn't upload the thing, so I'll just screenshot here the screen from the actual Erg and you can kind of see my watts and stuff coming down or my watts and things coming up as I should say and then I'll overlay the the uh, DFA alpha uh, metrics and my heart rate here and then I'll kind of voice over and explain this. So a little voiceover, this is just a screenshot of the DFA Alpha 1 from the HRV Logger app. And each one of these dots you see there is two minutes of time on the bike. And I was progressively going a little bit faster from about 150 watts onwards. And you can see only the last one, I'm under this 0 0.75. So after that, I split into kind of past my LT1 and out of zone two and into kind of zone three or higher zones. So previous to that, I was in zone two and various levels of zone two as each one is coming closer and closer to the edge of zone two or the end of zone two. So I kind of I like to be in the middle of zone two from the majority of my zone two work. And since the last time I've done this, I've super greatly improved. So if I look at the erg data and my heart rate data, I can kind of guess where my heart rate, my maximum end of my heart rate. We'll look at that in the next picture. So now this is the heart rate. I've marked the heart rate at 165. So everything in gray is over 165. And for me, kind of under 165 will be zone two. I'm near 165 will be very close to uh, crossing that threshold. So for me, right about 150 beats, I can still be in zone two, which is quite a high heart rate for zone two. I prefer to be around about 120 to 130. But I know I can squeeze a little bit more speed out of it. This has greatly, greatly improved over the two years I've been zone, doing zone two. And watts wise, if we have a look at the erg now, we'll see what kind of watts I was holding around about this time. So the DFA alpha is every two minutes, which is good on the erg because it takes about a thousand meters every two minutes thereabouts. So if we look at around about the 4,000 meter mark, I'm holding 195 and closer to the 4,500, 220. So that kind of crossed me over the the threshold. So I would say if we look at the 3,000 meter mark, I'm holding 182. I'd say that's the maximum end of my zone two at the minute, which is really good for me. I'd really like to get this up to 200, but this is greatly improved from around about 100. Just two years ago, I was holding about 100 at the edge of zone two. So this is great for me, very happy with this. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comment box. And this app is just a really good way of a non-invasive way of like doing something like lactate testing to find out where your upper limits of your aerobic threshold are. Um, that's all, hit like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.